New Haven police are stepping up school bus patrols to try to catch those drivers, if you can believe this, who are not obeying the law and going around stopped buses. News Ace Jason Newton has more on the new campaign. Parents, teachers, and now city officials have had enough. People are not paying attention to uh, the school zone. They're not at all. They're just zipping back and forth. On Thursday, New Haven police had a looming presence outside the Morrow Sheridan School on Fountain Street. Complaints have been mounting that people not only speed, but also pass beside school buses, even when their stop sign is out. New Haven Alderman Richard Furlow has been watching it personally for months. The highest count that I've had were 32 cars that passed school buses with the lights on. It's about 20 on a daily basis. This man drove right past a bus loading in plain sight of the police and the media. Unfortunately for him, the fine is one of the highest citations issued in Connecticut. $465 for that violation. It's a serious problem not only here but nationwide. Take a look at this video from a school bus in Washington State showing an SUV speeding by, narrowly missing three children who were about to walk on to the bus. There has to be something visual. Why? Because we're visual and audio creatures. Police kept a steady and stern watchful eye Thursday. Aside from their extended efforts that will be citywide, Alders are hoping to install speeding signs and flashing lights to warn motorists that they're entering a school zone. And so we need to start thinking proactive. What are things that we can prevent before it happens to make our children safe? In New Haven, Jason Newton, News 8.